everybody, it's me, Taylor. We're here with the Style Center. We're here with Memphis Metro Fashion Week on the first night. All of the designers are here. The show is about to start soon. We're going to get some interviews with some of those designers and some of the participants today. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Style Center. Hey, everybody. We're here with Dominique Lachey. She's one of the designers from the show of Dominique Lachey. So let's just start with how long have you been designing? So actually, I've only been doing this for about six months. Yes, I had a vision, and I decided to go for it and not to waste any time. Yeah, and you know what? That's something that's very important, especially people of our generation. When we start to have things that motivate us and that can really push our talents forward, we got to work on those things. So um, what got you started with doing this? Yeah, so uh, as many know that I had brain surgery back in 2016. So the brain surgery uh, kind of amped me to come up with a slogan for my life that I decided to live by and it's die with memories, not dreams. So I decided that I'm going to do something. Thank you. So I decided that I'm going to do something I always wanted to do because we always put off things, you know. So I decided, okay, I love fashion. I always have. Why not make a career out of it? Right, right. Oh, girl, you're just motivating me right now. Yes. Um, so what really is exciting you about, you know, your designs being featured in the show today? I am so excited about this because I believe that it's showing that we can all be different, but we can still all come together. And what I don't know, you can teach me. And right. what you don't know, I can. And it teaches right. you how to be open and receptive exactly. to things that are abstract from what you do or how you do it and things like that. Yes, so ma'am. so, so, so grateful to be a part of this amazing event. Yes, you know what, girl? I relate to that completely. I literally just got done talking to our producer, Marcus, about this exact same thing. Yo, what's, what's your slogan again? Die with memories. Not Die dreams. with memories, not dreams. Now, how do you feel like your designs can change, one, the Memphis fashion scene, and two, the world fashion scene? Okay, so what I, I'm only 31, so and I have a daughter. You're 31? Yeah, I thought she was like 25. <laughs> I thought she was like 20. I thought she my age. I'm 22. No, so and I have a daughter that's 11, so my biggest goal is to show that you can be sophisticated and sexy. You know, as she gets older, she's going to be able to choose her own clothing, and I'd at least want to provide her with the option of I still can be sophisticated and sexy. Right, I agree with that. That's something that I like to do too. Um, of course, you know, we, can, we women feel free to wear whatever we want to wear and that is the point that you're trying to make is that it's our choice and we choose to dress a certain way and it's sexy and it's sophisticated and I feel good in my clothes just like anybody else who feel good in their clothes. So, um, Before we get out of here, give us real quickly your, every, your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, all that stuff. Okay, so my Facebook is Terrica Williams. My Instagram is Incomplete Masterpiece. And you can check out my designs on my website at DominiqueLachey.com. All righty, y'all. Thank y'all so much. This is Dominique Lachey. We're going to be right back with some more of those designers. Hey, everybody. We're here with Sean. She is with Classic Curvy Boutique. Tell us a little bit, Sean, um, how long have you been doing, uh, well, how long have you been owning your boutique and how long have you been doing fashion? Um, this month, it actually makes my third year in business, so I'm really Happy excited. Birthday. Thank you. Um, I've been in a storefront for two years now, um, so I'm really excited about it. Oh, yay. So, um, what really got you started in doing the fashion and leading up to owning your boutique? Well, um, my boutique really came from a really dark place. Um, I was going through um, a bad breakup, and um, I really lost myself in a relationship. Um, so I needed to redefine myself. And so with that, I tried a lot of different things. I went into um, home interior decorating. Um, I went into event planning. But my chemistry wasn't there. I even started doing makeup for a little while. But my chemistry wasn't there. Uh, my chemistry really came when I opened up my boutique. Um, it gave me an opportunity to rebrand myself. I got to find myself all over again. And um, I'm in a place now where I'm able to build relationships with other women. I'm able to help them build their self-esteem and their yes. confidence. So it's really been a blessing for wow, me. Wow, thank you for sharing that You're with welcome. us. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, that's really what it is. We have to really make sure that we're never, like you said, losing ourselves. Absolutely. And that can be easy to do it's in a easy. relationship. It's so easy. You know, you commit yeah. yourself to people and you really lose your identity. And, you know, when you've lost that identity, it's so hard for you to get it back. So this um, opportunity for me 
from the grace of God, I've been able to redefine myself as a woman. And, you know, here I am today, just glowing. You yes, know, you look beautiful. She looks beautiful, well, thank you guys. You. Thank so, you. So, I also wanted to ask you, you know, what really is exciting you about the show today? This show, um, and I've been trying to explain it to people, um, but this show, last year I had the opportunity to come and I actually sat out in the audience. I've never been to a show um, in L.A. or New York Fashion Week, but I look at it on YouTube just to kind of get an idea. Right, right. His shows remind me of New York Fashion Week. They are so um, uplifting. They're so encouraging to the fashion community. And the models, oh, my God, they are gorgeous. They are really gorgeous. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, I know some of these models. They are really good. They are really good. So they're going to give us um, a good show on tomorrow. And you know what? I think the city of Memphis deserves a show Absolutely. like that. And I'm really glad to be, you know, here with everybody and letting this be the platform for us here in Memphis to provide that type of show for me. Like you said, New York Fashion Week, we got the potential and the people to do it. So I'm glad we're going to be doing it today and tomorrow. The big show is tomorrow. Yes. So last thing, how do you feel like your uh, fashion input and... How do you feel like your fashion input and your uh, designs can change the Memphis fashion scene or the world fashion scene? Okay, so my fashion, um, I carry to a very sophisticated group of women, women who identify with style and class. Uh, my specialty is really uh, with the focus on plus size women. So uh, for so long, we've been overlooked. I agree. You know, we have been really overlooked. So for me, um, this kind of gives me the opportunity to let plus size women know, you know, embrace it all. You know, you can rock it on and off the runway. It's just you definitely on you. Yeah. So um, for me, it's really just about rebuilding that uh, community for plus size women. Right. Thank you so much. So again, y'all, this is Sean. Let us know real quick where social media is, where your boutique is located, and any other ways we can get in touch with you. I am currently located at 6805 Summer Avenue, Suite 140. You can follow me on Facebook as well as Instagram under Classy Curves Couture. Alrighty, thank you. thank you. Hi, everybody. We're here with Amanda. She owns Paulette's Closet. It's a wonderful boutique in here in Memphis, and I am actually wearing one of her designs. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. That's good. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. How long have you been owning a boutique and being in the fashion industry? Well, I've been collecting vintage clothing for over 15 years now. Wow. Yeah, so I've been collecting for a long time, and I've just been having my own shop now for just the past couple of years, but I've always collected vintage. Wow, yes, yeah, so I'm somebody who really loves vintage, as you guys can see. This looks great. I feel beautiful. I already was told that I've been feeling myself today, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> uh, what got you started in doing fashion and uh, wanting to own your boutique eventually? Well, my shop is named after my grandmother, Paulette. Um, she came from France to the States, and she was an actress and a comedian. Wow. Yeah, so that's she was. I want to be. Right. <laughs> she was always on stage, and she was always performing, so she had tons of costumes and yeah. the whole deal feather boas, fishnet stockings, makeup. I bet so, that was beautiful. As a little girl, I just loved seeing her collection and watching her dress up, and I just was completely enamored with all things feminine. Right. And so I started collecting vintage clothing as a way to honor her. Wow, yeah. You know what? A lot of times people don't understand, you know, how deeply something can run for you, especially when it's a passion. But that's so beautiful that your grandmother inspired you. My grandmother inspires me every day. Yeah. Um, now, what really is exciting you about, you know, your designs being featured in the show from your boutique today? I'm really excited about Mem Memphis Metro Fashion Week because... There's so much local talent, and I'm just feeding off the creativity of the other designers and boutique owners, and it just makes me happy to see everyone expressing themselves right. in fashion and just showing their true colors, right. and anything related to fashion gets me excited. So to see everybody coming out in their best right. and just showing their own style, I love that. And you know what, it shows the diversity just here in Memphis as yeah. well because I've seen so many different designs. I am just being introduced to you as a Memphian. I have been here my whole life and I love vintage stuff. Right. So this is not only for you know me, this is for the community too. Um, how do you, with that being said, how do you feel like your, uh, you know, boutique or your fashion experience can change the Memphis fashion scene or the world fashion scene? 
Well, with vintage clothing, because everything is one of a kind, it really, to me, allows the person to find that piece that speaks to them personally. And when I'm choosing these pieces, I'm almost envisioning the person that would wear it when I find it. So I love to see the look on someone's face when they find that piece and then they put it together in their own way. It's really gratifying to me. Right. And so it's exciting to see Memphians and hopefully people all over wear my pieces because I know that when I found it, I had them in mind and now they're putting their own spin on it. Right. And what I think the world needs right now is more people that are not afraid to step out of those lines and those boxes. Right, say, exactly. Look, this is me, this is how I do what I do, right? And to just be themselves, I think that's really a big movement right now is for just everyone to embrace who they are, what they believe in, what they stand for. And I think one of the ways that we do that is through our fashion. I was just about to say that. how we recognize each other, right? So when I see you, I'm like, oh, okay. Right, you recognize that I got on something nice. You're like, you know what? I would wear that. Yeah. I would change something a little different. And then that's, again, us bringing our own style into it. Exactly, right. and it makes you approachable because that's right. a conversation starter. Because it makes me want to come up and be like, "I love your dress." Right, I and I say, "I love your head." Yeah. So, and now we're friends. <laughs> yes, and now we're friends. Now, before we get out of here, let everybody know what your social media is, where your boutique is located, and whatever else uh, you'd like to let us know to get in touch with you. Okay, so our Instagram is Paulette's underscore closet. And our Facebook page is Paulette's Closet Memphis. And right now we are home based. So what we're going to be doing are some really exciting sipping shops and private events. We were, we're going to be advertising those on our social media outlets. But we want everyone to come out and be ready to eat some good food, have some good cocktails, and just play dress up. Because that's what we're all about at Paulette's Closet is just being that little girl in your grandmother's closet trying on hats yeah. and putting on shoes and spinning around in the mirror. That's what we love at Paulette's Closet. So we're excited to be getting ready to kick off a full line of events of dress up parties. Okay, perfect. Um, can you give us a sneak peek as to what the next pop, when the next pop-up shop might be? Well, we'll be doing something real soon, probably in August. Okay, we're gonna perfect. be having our first event at our new home base boutique, um, but the best way to get a taste of what we're doing is to come to Memphis Metro Fashion Weekend right. and see all the looks that we're showing this weekend. All righty, well, we'll see y'all later. What's here with me, Taylor, and the Style Center. Hey, y'all. It's Taylor with the Style Center. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, go to our website, www.l3television.com. back again here with Angelica, designer of Kaki Creations. How you doing today, girl? I'm great. That's good. All right, so we're going to start with, um, how long have you been designing? Um, I've actually been designing about three years now. Okay. Um, what got you started with doing design? Um, actually, I was kind of a little too cheap, so I actually just started. What do you mean cheap? Cheap, because I didn't want to spend my money, actually, at the stores and the yeah. malls. So I just started, took a stab at myself and just tried to make my own things. Okay, um, and what kind of um, stuff did you start making at first? Um, first it was just like regular t-shirts, changing the sleeves though with different fabric and stuff like that. And then I got more into like uh, screen printing and vinyl printing. Oh, okay, so you have experience in that? Um, no, I went to YouTube University. Uh, wow, see, that we learned something today. You can go to YouTube University. Anything can be found out on YouTube. You want to know how to do something? Go on YouTube and do it. She just started her whole career on YouTube. Uh, yeah. um, so, what are you kind of most excited about, uh, about your designs being featured in the show today? 
Um, with my name brand, Cotty Creations, it's wrong. I want people to see the clothing without even speaking. So we want you to be cocky without even opening your mouth. Yeah, and you know what? That's something that I feel like is just the style of Memphis in itself is that, you know, we kind of cocky as a city for real, you know? When we see people loud and we see people that got on similar outfits, we be like, you know what? You're looking nice today, Memphian, fellow Memphian. But, um, yeah, that's another thing that I be focusing as well. Um, I did. I have seen some of your designs. They're really nice. What would you say, uh, well, if you could choose maybe two words to describe your um, brand, what would they be? Um, different and outgoing. Okay. And I feel like those kind of describe you, too. I'm loving this hat. Thank you. If y'all don't know, her hand has the Beauty and the Beast um, rose inside of it. And I am one where Beauty and the Beast would have scared most children, but I was fascinated by this crazy looking thing. Now, uh, last question, how do you feel like your designs can kind of, or what you do as a fashion uh, um, intelligence, that's not the word I'm looking for, but Marcus can edit this out. Um, how do you feel like your designs or your fashion experience can uh, enhance or change the Memphis fashion scene or the world fashion scene? Well, I'm not treating, pretty much trying to change the fashion world, I'm just trying to add to it. And Kaka Creations will actually add a little bit to the world. But every collection that I have has a small background. So it's not like just me making something. It's actually a meaning behind everything that I do. Right. So can you share with us maybe something? What was the most one that, what was the one thing that had the most meaning to you? Um, actually, the hat I got on right now. Oh, really? It's a heart inside a rose. But, you know, roses have thorns. So, you know, do you really want to touch that rose? But you also got the love because it's so, right. also, so beautiful. So it's right. got the joy That is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. Well, before we go, share with everybody your social media, how they can get in touch with you, whatever that stuff is. Let us know. Yeah, everything is Cocky Creations. You can find me on Instagram, also Facebook, Cocky Creations with a C. Cocky Creations. Hey y'all, we're back with the Style Center. I'm here with the owner of King Status, which is a hair care product. Here. How you doing, love? I'm doing great tonight. Yes, doing how good. Um, so, how long have you been in the hair care industry slash owning your own business as King Status? So, I've been owning my own business for only about six or seven months, actually. Wow. Yes. Yes. Oh, happy baby dum. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still learning uh, more about Memphis, learning how our products can impact this community and how pe how it's received in this community. So I'm excited about what we're doing um, and how we're bringing men's grooming products to Memphis. Right. So now we'll say this. A lot of men in Memphis got facial hair or got long hair. Absolutely. And I sometimes wonder if they really know that there are things out there that they can use to take care of their hair and not exactly. feel like they smell like, you know, I think a lot of men probably are conscious, which they shouldn't be, yeah. but are conscious about, you know, smelling girly. Yeah. But they shouldn't be. Right. But this could maybe, you know, help them feel better. Um, what really kind of got you started being in the hair care industry and wanting to own your own business eventually? So I'm a scientist by profession. And I absolutely yes. yes. girls are scientists. Yes. And I absolutely love making products. So I decided, you know, women's products are on the market. They're booming. But what about men's products? And so I decided to reach out to a couple of friends and say, what do you all need in some products? And so I decided to develop King Status Growing. After months of, months of testing, after months of, of, of trying to figure out what I can work and uh, maneuver around to make a great product, I was able to develop products that I could launch to make um, men feel great about themselves. Right, and I yeah. think that a lot of times men don't understand Y'all deserve to feel great just like we deserve to get, feel great. When we get our hair done, when we put yes. on a nice outfit, we want to feel the same way. Y'all yes. want to feel that same way too. And don't be ashamed to feel the way you deserve that. Absolutely. That's a given. Absolutely. Well, what are you most excited out about? So I, I feel like your hair care products are being featured on the models today, right? They are being featured on the models today and tomorrow's fashion show. I'm excited about that and being a sponsor for this event. Um, we want the guys to feel confident. We want their beard to pop and shine. Um, and that's what our products provide. Right, right. Um, so what is exciting you most about that being featured today? What do you hope to get from that? Um, I want to see the guys have a well put together look. I want them to feel confident in where they and, and what they're wearing. And I think in grooming and looking well and, right. and, and feeling good about yourself, it just shines through. It comes all together. Yep. Um, so last thing, how do you feel like you, um, you know, your hair care, 
uh, Intel or your what is it? What's the word? Line. Yeah. Is it? My product line. No, I'm trying to say her um. Expertise. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. We figured it out. You can cut that out. <laughs> So how do you feel like your hair care expertise can change the Memphis scene, hair care scene, or the world hair care scene? Okay. So I believe that men in Memphis um, have... Uh, hold on. Let me think. I don't want to phrase it. But um, I believe that men in Memphis should be more concerned about the overall grooming experience. And I believe that with King Status products, they can make you feel luxurious. The texture of your beard can be improved, uh, softened, and and what guy doesn't love to be noticed by the ladies, you know? So and when so with a well-groomed man, there comes a time where you can't just be concerned about a haircut, you know? Do more, and and so with King Status products, it elevates you to another level. Right, and everybody's trying to be on another level. Exactly. So I'm hoping to bring that to the city and to the world. Well, we thank you for that, love. Now, before we go, let's go ahead and get your social media. Any ways that we can get in contact with you, let us know all that stuff. So you can find us at King Status Grooming on Instagram and Facebook, www.ksgrooming.com online if you're interested in products. All righty, so again, hey y'all, we're here again with the Style Center. We're here with Cholo. Let us know the name of your design line. Immortal Inc. Immortal oh, no. Inc. Hey, perfect. So, what have you? How long? Excuse me. Have you been doing um, design? A little over three years. A little over three years. So you're still kind of a baby. Oh, yeah. oh well, what kind of got you started doing that? Um, I just wanted to see. I was just got really getting tired of seeing people with the same clothes on. Just you know what. That's something that's real in Memphis. People be having the same clothes on. If you work at the mall and some shoes come out on Friday, the whole mall have the shoes on. So I agree with that. Thank you for you know introducing us to some new stuff. Um, so yeah, continue. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, it's just Immortal Ink. Yeah, I just designed new clothes and I just really want to see something new. That was about it. Yeah. Um, so what are you kind of excited about uh, as far as your clothes being featured in the show today? Um, like I said, it's, it's something new for me and for the community, and just something new. Like, I just wanted to uh, branch out to a different, um, like, still, like, skill type thing. So if you could choose one word or two words to describe your brand, um, what would they be? Immortal Ink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, so how do you feel like, you know, what you're doing today or, you know, how your input to the fashion world can not only affect the Memphis fashion scene, but also, you know, the world fashion scene? What kind of effect are you looking for when you're putting your designs out there? Um, just making reality and just actually bringing back old piece, uh, like old work that other designers brought up before. Just um, basically copied a little bit, like basically sampled it and make my own. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of times that's kind of what I feel like Memphis needs. We have a lot of stuff that other great cities have, but it's like we're sampling everything and making it our own. So I can kind of see that reflected in your clothes. He has great designs, guys. I've seen them. My friends have modeled them, and they have been really nice. Um, before I let you go, let everybody know, you know, what your social media outlets are, how we can get in touch with you, and all that stuff. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at black underscore cholo. Uh, Snapchat is black underscore cholo 91. And Facebook is the Morning Fan Page. Alrighty, y'all. So again, I'm Taylor. We'll see y'all in just a second. Hi, everybody. We're here with Mon O'Day. He's one of the sponsors here at the Memphis Metro Fashion Week. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. So I just wanted to ask you, what got you started as wanted to be one of the sponsors for this show specifically? Um, Razor reached out to me um, because I'm just starting to try to get into fashion myself. As far as modeling, um, I do comedy. Um, as the first thing. Are you funny? Uh, of course. <laughs> You're gonna tell us some jokes, honestly. <laughs> but um, um, I wanted to get into modeling, so I, I'm, I'm starting to take more pictures. Um, and I found that by me sponsoring this will be a good way for me to get my name out. Right, I agree with that. You know, I'm all about networking. Yeah, you know what? And a lot of people, Memphis is a great city to network in. We have almost every single type of industry that you could possibly get into here in the city. And I think sometimes, you know, it do get overlooked because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we be having going on here. But Memphis has a lot of networking opportunities, especially for fashion. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. 
What are you excited most about today? For you know, what do you expect from the show? What are you excited about? Um, this is my first one, so I don't know really what to expect. Yeah. Um, I came thinking it was like a meet and greet. Um, but also, if they are going to do a fashion show a type thing, um, I want to learn from it to see pointers like whenever I get on on the runway or something, you know. Right. So yeah, um, honestly, that's kind of how I started being in my first fashion show because I haven't been modeling, you know, in the past year because I've been, you know, hustling out here trying to get this camera time. Just kidding. But um, I, you know, have when I first started doing that, it was because I saw a fashion show and I came to a meet and greet that same day, and I just went to my next show and went to the audition and I did not expect to make it. Yeah, yeah. I did not expect to make it, but I, I made it. I guess. Yeah, but. You know, but me personally, uh, being that I am a thicker guy, um, it's not a lot of representation for us thicker guys. I agree guys. with that. So, and you I know, know, I want to be that image to show other thick guys, hey, you know, it doesn't always have to be this size 38 or something. You know, I'm a size 44, and I still rock and kill it everywhere. Exactly. I everywhere. I believe <laughs> everywhere. that. You have a chill day right now, and you're yes. killing it. Yes, chill day. You know, so, you know, I just want to open doors for other thick guys and other uh, females. You know, they just, just confidence is not really up there. So, you know, I just want to just show them that you can do it. Right. Thank you so much, you know. And it, sometimes people are afraid to, to make that, you know, take that step out there. But we appreciate you for that. Um, last thing, how do you feel like, you know, you sponsoring this show can affect the Memphis fashion scene and the world fashion scene? Um, me, um, sponsoring this, we need this, you know, like you said, Memphis does sometimes get overlooked. Um, so we need, we need people like me behind the scenes, you know, pushing it forward, you know, so, so we, it, it's needed. Yeah, I agree with that. Before we let you go, let us know what your social media outlets are, your Facebook, your Twitter, any way we can get in contact with you, man. Okay. Uh, Instagram, man, no day, that's M-O-N-N-O-D-A-Y. Um, Facebook's the same thing. So I'm, I just really be on Facebook and Instagram. I don't really do Twitter. You Snapchat, know what? I'm, I'm the same to, way. I don't really do Twitter. I don't get on Twitter, but it's only because I'm not big on social yeah. media, but Snapchat, I don't even get on there anymore. I don't even get on Snapchat either. <laughs> only time I get on there is... We still love you, Snapchat, but you know, y'all drain our filters. I just use filters. And then like today, I got on Twitter because Instagram was down for a few minutes. So that's why I got on Twitter. That's sad. <laughs> Well, um, you know, this is going to be our last interview for tonight. We're here with Memphis Metro Fashion Week with mine. Thank you, everybody that's watched us tonight, and we'll see y'all next time on the Style Center. Hey, y'all. It's me, Taylor, with the Style Center. Catch us on Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on Comcast Channel 31. See y'all later.